Stupid name for someone. It's very professional here. And you're with Martine on Lake Macquarie FM, the new 97.3. And as we always do, we welcome aboard amazing talent. Ah. When are, they arriving? when are they arriving? <laughs> when are they arriving? That's it. Well, we, uh, we have lots of uh, amazing talent. Well, Ozzy, I won't tell them that uh, you've just spent the last half an hour trying to get the top off, uh, yeah, the childproof top off a cough medicine wow. bottle. Wow. I'll give you a tip. <laughs> Read the instructions. Uh, Read the instructions, exactly. Well, I thought it was a squeeze one, so I'm squeezing. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. And then I looked and said, push down. Okay. Childproof, childproof. And yes. uh, the listeners yes. that read the instructions. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I have with me very good friend um and you know him as uh, Aussie the Oz man he is of course Wayne Osborne welcome thanks. aboard thanks Martin and uh very I'm, privileged to be on your show oh I'll tell you what I'm the tell cream you of the community coming here <laughs> that's it that's it uh usually we hear you on a Wednesday night mm -hmm. and uh, uh everyone knows you in the area you promote lots of uh, amazing talent young old in between mm -hmm. um <laughs> and 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 also age groups young old and in between yes. um <laughs> You know so many people in the industry. Um, where, did you grow up um, in in the pub scene, so to speak? With I used to go to rock? a pub every now and then. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I've, I guess always loved music. Um, never got real serious on it. Yeah. And, um, but I guess uh, I had three lessons on a guitar when I was thirteen. Decided my fingers are too short and I don't want to do it. It's too hard. Yeah. yeah. So I got a bit lazy as I am, mm -hmm. and um, then. I guess uh, I did a bit of community radio back in the 90s. I got asked to come along there because I was doing a sports show on there. Mm. And um, the only reason I got on the sports show was because the guy uh, wasn't doing any harness racing and so I had a crack at him and he said, well, come in and do it. So I was doing the, uh, the tips and the reports for the local harness racing scene. So Fantastic. that was pretty good. Locally, it was, it, was, yeah. it was really good fun. So It's, it's quite a big community, actually. Yes, the, the yeah, a lot of good people in yeah. it too. Yeah. Uh, except the one just got busted for stuff, but anyway, <laughs> won't go there. No, but no. Um, yeah, so I sort of got involved in community radio then, and um, I was just playing, I was doing midnight to dawns and all funny shifts, and it was, it was mm. good, but then I had five different jobs, so all casual, so it was all running into each other, and I just couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I did, um, I, I just went back to doing work, didn't worry about it too much, and then I was asked to come here, and I just started off doing a Sunday night show here, which was uh, 60s, 70s and 80s Aussie music. Mm. And I just sort of thought, well, I'll just go and ask people if they want to be on it, because I love that, those three decades, you know? And yeah, so then I, um, then I got, uh, just did random messages to Todd Hunter from Dragon and mm. Don Martin from MySex and all these guys, just sort of making contact with them and said, would you like to have a chat? And it started off like that. So, and it's turned out over, five or six years have become good friends with a lot of them and um yeah and they're really good people and they just they're normal people back yeah, in back in that yeah. at, back in that year you couldn't talk to them back no, in those, that's those right. days yeah you know they were working six or seven days a week and, absolutely and they were up there on the stage and that was it but mm. nowadays they're giving back so they're quite happy to uh talk on community radio mm. and to um uh, do anything they can so I've sort of got more involved there than the local scene here. There's so many good artists around Central it's Coast, incredible. Lake Macquarie, and all around. Is it in our water, Aussie? Oh, I mean, I how, 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 every, every week you have an incredible artist coming on every Wednesday. Um, I mean, to be honest, you've got people busting down your door to get on your show, to get the promotion, to get... Uh, busting and, to get and, out and too, once a minute. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but, um, you know, the, the talent, as you say, is, is amazing. So how do you scout around? I know that you are, you know, very parochial in that you go to all the local markets, the local shows, um, you know, you, you go to the pub rock. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You, you get around uh, the different venues and uh, there's uh, open mics. Absolutely. That's a good thing. Mm. You see a lot of, uh, especially the young people, they're having a go. And as you say, the markets, there's... Plenty of people have been on the show that were playing at uh, the old Swansea markets or mm. at YE or they were, they were somewhere around at a marketplace or, or busking on the streets. Busking, absolutely. Yeah. The talent. <laughs> and, I, and I wonder, often wonder why, why haven't these people got picked up? Yep, yep. You know, so how good. have they not... Uh, and even out of uh, the local school here, North Lakes High, there's some great artists come out of there. Mm. And really good. They had a really good music program there for a few years. 
and there's a whole list of them that have been on the show mm. and they're just everywhere and I, I uh, ran the buskers uh, stage down here at the lakes festival at Budgewoy a couple of weeks ago and I had eight I think buskers and I oh. could have had one and they were only from because it was a, this area of Budgewoy Buff Point wow so uh, we had one one ring in from San Remo across mm. the little bridge there, but yeah, mm. that was last minute. And but if you could walk here, you were on the stage. Yes, yeah, 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 and yeah. you had that many. That's crazy, yep. isn't so it? So they're all here, and some of those have been on the show. I think mm. nearly all of them have. So over the uh, over the years, so they're everywhere, and they're doing really well. And uh, Wednesday nights is usually a phone call at six thirty from uh, an artist that's in the key to artist promotions mm -hmm. stable. I call it. So uh, they ring in from New Zealand and all over Australia as well. Mm -hmm. They're artists for, for our country music uh, phone call at 6.30 and then it's usually an artist live in the studio mm -hmm. to uh, have some fun with. And mm -hmm. you know, sometimes I'll play live and sometimes I don't want to. Because <laughs> I, I guess over the night time you come along and you've got to do a few songs straight out of the car park, it's a bit hard. But, it is. But it some, is. Some, are, some that come here and go, oh, I should have brought my guitar, you know, mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll come back and they'll do stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had some EP, had an album launch. Uh, well, last Wednesday night it was uh, 6.30 was the song, this was the first interview that um, the young lady did for mm. us, for anyone. So we, we kicked it off with the uh, interview with a new single. And then straight after that, uh, Kevin Taylor came in with his album and he actually launched it at 7.15 here. Goodness me. On our station. So our little station's going good. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. We're launching yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And people, I uh, went uh, this quick visits to bands on um, Friday and Saturday night down at the uh, Coast Hotel and all of them, both of them, recognised us and our, and our station as being supporting um, local artists and, that's, uh, and live music, so Absolutely. that's pretty good. It's, yeah. It is important that uh, yeah. we are in amongst the community yep. and promoting the, uh, yep. the amazing talent, amazing talent. Yep. So uh, tell me, when, when you're not busy uh, promoting other people's work and uh, doing your, your thing on the radio, what kind of work do you do? Well, I've been, had a bit of a spell for a few months and uh, um, I've been doing youth work and family support work for like over 20 years, had a short stint away doing other things and uh, back uh, doing some uh, youth work and mentoring again, I'll be doing that uh, as soon as my police check comes back. <laughs> as you said, <laughs> I haven't been convicted. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh, yeah, as we said, we're pretty, we're, we're pretty hopeful it's about the conviction <laughs> on the charge. So, that's it. Uh, yes, so, so we're getting that back and then get, getting your toes back in the water. Yeah, into, yeah back into to that. That keeps you busy and keeps you young. <laughs> yeah, it does. It keeps you connected to the community. Yep. Yeah, And especially and, young people too. Like if, if you lose... If you lose too much track of what's going on, you don't understand them much, so mm. you've got to keep back in there, mm. culture. It does, it does. Yes. It winds you in. Now, you, you then surprised us. Um, I mean, <laughs> surprised we, myself. <laughs> we knew that you had been, uh, you picked up the guitar again, didn't you? And yes. even, even you picked up the ukulele. Uh, uh, yes. You said you had three lessons back when you were 12. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, a couple of years ago, I, I, you, you, you do play the same songs over and over again, <laughs> I must say. They're well practiced. One day but, I'll get one right. <laughs> um, and, uh, and and the wagon song, of course. A wagon wheel. Yeah. Wagon wheel. Should have brought your guitar. You should have brought your guitar. Uh, next, there you go. Next, next time. time. Next time. Next yes. time. Um, but but you did start to uh, fiddle with the guitar again. How yes. did how did you do that? Uh, that's what I was working at Life Without Barriers, mm. and um, Mark Fitzsummons was working in the same office as I, and I saw his guitar under his desk. I said, "Oh, mate, do you play guitar?" And he went, yeah, "Matter of fact, I do." Mm. So under I'm his right, desk. Yeah, they're sitting there. And I said, uh, do you know, when, oh, that's where he pulled out an EP, a little EP. I said, good on you, mate. I said, do you know, are you old enough? So he started playing that. So I sang it with him in the office. We sang it. And he went, what is it? April Sun in Cuba. But yeah. We did that one. Wow. And I had a little envelope um, that I'd written out some words on because I watched a uh, country music awards thing when they used to do it on Channel 10, I think, on a Sunday yeah, after yeah. Tamworth. You know? Yeah. And yeah. I knew the people involved there because I went to school with them and that sort of thing. So I thought, every time someone came out on stage, it was... Um, it was the, the the writer, the songwriter. They didn't care who sang it. It was all about the songwriter. I could write a country music song. I was thinking of a ute and a dog and a pub and a missus and that sort of stuff, yeah. Absolutely. And possibly an ex thrown in. Yeah, a sad so, song, yeah. Yeah. So I, I started writing. I thought I had inspiration of uh, my mum's family from out uh, in the Riverina, Cootamundra. So, mm. and I got property out at the Thungra. And so I was 
when we were kids, we used to go there, I used to, every year I was out there and we'd climb up this hill uh, at the back of the family property. So I call it family ground. Mm. And it was only some words and a bit of a chorus written on an envelope. And I said to Fitzy, take that home and do some damage. So <laughs> next day he came back and he's, he's playing it. I'm like, that'll do. Wow. So then he, he actually recorded it uh, and did it. So. Yeah. And how long ago was that, Aussie? Oh, that would have been five or six years, I think. Mm. Then I got a bit bit serious, and a friend of mine um, used to go to school with her. She was a year below, I think, Jen Corbin, mm. Mm. Uh, lovely lady, and and uh, she was running little classes on Thursday nights. And she saw a Facebook post, and she said, "Come over to our joint. There's a little group. Mm. I'll have you playing the song in one night." So she showed a method that you can use, which makes it easier to play. I'm no expert, but don't worry about that. So, so really, so, did did you learn the song in a night? Yeah, yeah. Two really? or three. Yeah. Okay, you're yeah. going to give us the name of, uh, of your mate then. <laughs> Jen Corbin, was it? Jen yeah. Corbin, wow. Yeah, so she had a little group, and, and that's the way it's done like, in the little groups. It's good. There's plenty mm. of good guitar teachers can show you the right way, and the, well, mm. say the right way, the, the, I guess, technical way. Mm. There's different things. And, I, and I think as well, meeting up with other people who are like minded, mm -hmm. who are perhaps learning as well, that's a great way to do it, isn't it? Because yep. sometimes when you're at home by yourself, um, it's it's all too hard. Yep. Um, you're pretty hard on yourself. You get as lazy. Well. You get lazy <laughs> and you can't be bothered. And it seems mm -hmm. nice. But if you can make a commitment to going to a group yep. where you're all learning, you can all learn from each other. And, yeah. yeah, and it's good company yeah. as well. And so uh, yeah, it sort of went on from that. And I have written about five or six songs. I think I got a couple half written, but just to muck around with. Mm -hmm. and, but um, yeah, then it sort of went on from there. And I've done a couple of open mics, just mucking around and had a bit of fun. You know. Sing here and there, band karaoke with Darren Rowland Keys down there yeah. at uh, Lakes Hotel Thursday night. That's good fun because it's a whole band. Yeah, it, but that's it amazing. <laughs> Look, I, let's give that a bit of a plug because I tell you what, he's he's playing on here Friday night, uh, well, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday night. night yeah. yeah, and I tell you what, you've got to go. And it, it, he's amazing. He's amazing um, a talent. Uh, he does amazing stuff in our community as well. Yep. Um, the, the, you know, his team um, behind him as well. Uh, they, his, his manager's pretty good, Lynn. Oh, she's, she's <laughs> incredible. Wife. Absolutely yes. incredible. She, she keeps the ball rolling. She absolutely does. But um, um, the, the talent that they have, but they have, and I keep meaning to get down there. And uh, I, I don't know if you can bring kids because it is. No, no. Not, not that far, unfortunately. No, but they have um, karaoke and the whole band plays. Hmm. So you've got, you're on the mic uh -huh. and you've got a Rock real star. band behind you beating it out. It's not just, you know, someone's press play on the CD. Yep. I love it. I, and, I, I and can't that, wait. The, the best idea is to uh, do a couple of angel songs at about 11 o'clock because everyone, <laughs> no one cares what you sound like. They just sing Well, too. that's what I was hoping. The band that's might drown me out. Yeah, well, Greg, Greg Egg does, uh, is often there doing the- He's uh, on bass. On, on yeah. bass. Yeah. And uh, he said to me one night, um, why don't you get up? You could have a, you could sing. I said, I don't sing. He said, No, you've got to. Everyone, he said, everyone has a sing. Everyone and has a sing. song. Yep. Yeah. He said, That's that's not true. Yep. Everyone can sing. So I was a bit inspired by him. That was years ago. Mm -hmm. Haven't got up yet. <laughs> you got to do it. It's so much fun. <laughs> but this this is amazing. Um, you have then uh, in that journey come up with this amazing new single. So. What was the inspiration behind this, I Win? And I, yeah. I tell you what, I love that cover. <laughs> that incredible artwork. I, I, I drew something similar to that uh, in coloured pencils. To, to do the, the design, yeah. The they let you pencil. have coloured pencils. They did. Usually they let you, you do it in crayon, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I did coloured pencils. And yes. uh, Kim Humphreys, I sent it to him. He did a, an example of it. He said, oh, what he'll do... He redid it, mm -hmm. and then he said, "I'll do it in um, this is crayonized." It is actually crayonized. That's, that's what it's yeah, called. Yeah. yeah so he crayonized it, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it went from there. And, and I win on the sand, and mm -hmm. that flower. There's a flower on the. Absolutely. I don't know if you can see that little flower drawn there. That yes. is actually Connie's flower that she's drawn. Uh, that's off a uh, actually off a um, a card she gave me for our very first. Um, what did you call? What's on February the fourteenth? Valentine's Day. Val <laughs> that's <Jay>. it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. So yeah. she. So that, that's. That's uh, traced from the traced card. From there. Yep, Isn't so that amazing? Yeah, there's some talented. Uh, again, talented yep. people. It doesn't just stop, does it? I no. mean, it just keeps <laughs> going on and on and on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that design was there. So the, the actual song. So the inspiration. Uh, for those that don't know, Connie passed away in June this year from um, long battle with esophageal cancer, and back in November last year. 
she also was very spiritual and did mm. healings and stuff like that. On her Connie's uh, healing, Connie's healing room page, mm. and then on her own page, she put up a post um, with some words, and it was about her being ready to go when the time came, and she was fine. Yeah, mm. and she she called it I win because she reckons she was winning. She's getting out of this hellhole, so uh, wow. <laughs> she's out of the universe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, don't have to worry about all these weird things happening. So. Mm. But she felt she'd done her job and she was ready to, ready to rock. So, mm. so, so Connie was a, was a songwriter and poet herself. Well, I mean, she wrote yeah, those beautiful spirits. words. Yes, you, you and her. Yeah, yeah, yes, she wrote absolutely. the words and uh, we, I told her and she knew we were going to use those words at her service. So it was inside mm. her little booklet at the service. And I came home and uh, after a week or so after the service, I thought something was telling me, make it a song. Yeah, so, beautiful. So yeah. what I did is I split Connie's words in half so that made two verses. Um, I wrote the chords for the music and put that to there. Then I then I wrote I wrote the chorus and added that in with the chords and then sort of styled it around a bit how it was going to sound. So mm. then from that I um, just got my acoustic guitar and I did a certain version of it. I played it with acoustic and I sang it, mm. uh, recorded it, just put it on Facebook uh, to see what the feedback would be like, and that way it showed me how I needed to change some words or whatever. Um, and it was beautiful, by the way. I mean, it was it was amazing <laughs> because we often joked about you bringing in the ukulele and things like that, and and and, and your wagon song, um, and and then suddenly this popped up, and it was a, it was like so it's sort it of play, sort of play guitar, sort of, play. sort of sing. So, so so what so what month is this? Then? Uh, you, well, you, you it would have been about July. About July. Yeah, mm -hmm. possibly July mm -hmm. uh, this year, and then uh, Lynn um, Hode and Darren, her, Darren Ryan Keys, her husband. They, they contact me and they go, you got to record that. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll record Absolutely. it. So I said, hey, great. Darren, that, Darren will sound great singing that. Go, Darren, and, she's, and they go, no, 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 no. You're going to do it. I went, me? And then, yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then uh, their good friend, Greg Egg, he does the um, uh, Ears That Hear studio at, mm. at Wandlin. He said, come up. We'll record it up here. Uh, then... Um, Ryan Matheson got involved, a drummer, a young fellow, he's a really good good fellow, he's Amazing. from the, yeah. the uh, Central Drum Academy, mm. and uh, Ryan's gone, I'll come and drum. Yeah. And so what we had was uh, Darren laid down the, the uh, rhythm guitar and he just mucked around the keyboard and did one take of the keyboard on it. Mm. Uh, Greg played bass and they had me, it's a terrifying experience, you go in this little studio and it's got the, what you do is you, um, it's, it's playing in your in the in your ear, yeah. So then you've got to sing, sing parts, right? Mm -hmm. Sing, so it's really scary because it's just mm. you, so and trying to sing and sing. And I did exposed, aren't you? Uh huh. Yeah, I did about three three takes, so he had mm. things to play with, and uh, and Greg Egg as well as doing the bass. He he actually does the production yes, of it as yep, well. He, in full his production. Studio, yep. Yeah, a lot of people don't realise that he has a full studio down yep. here at Gwondolin, isn't yep. it? Yeah, uh, is that his studio? Yeah. So he um uh he got me to do that and we was sort of joking around and because Connie uh, really loved Darren and Lynn uh, and Absolutely. and loved mm -hmm. Kate Kieran oh, yes, yeah. so everyone loves Kate how can you not love Kate she's not yes. far away from baby so it's a couple oh, of weeks I think and she'll have a new baby uh, but um, yeah so I, I asked uh, Kate if she could do some harmonies as well mm -hmm. so Darren's done harmonies and then Kate came along and did harmonies which is fantastic as well and so it was all coming together and then um, yeah I think I went back two or three times and uh, then the last day, we were sort of almost ready to go, we were going to do a final thing. And I did, um, I think I did two takes, and then Greg walked in and said, that second one didn't have any mistakes, did it? Didn't miss any words or anything? I said, no. He said, we'll use that, I think. So, wow. So amazing. yeah, so he put it all together and it would have, I don't think he auto-tuned it, but he, he touched up the, the bits of it. And I shopped it up a bit. We all <laughs> yeah. put, put a filter on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm not sure what. They're telling me that uh, they didn't, but he probably did. <laughs> you also had Steve Edmonds doing yes. guitar. Yes. Well, what that happened there? Great. I was up at uh, Cathode Pub watching Steve Edmonds and his band, and he came off a, a break and he gave me a hug and said, "Oh, how's everything going?" And mm. I said, yeah, "We're rolling along, mate. Yeah, getting there." And he said, um, "Mate, if you want to come around and play some guitar, I'll, I'll teach you some stuff." I thought that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then he said, "If you want me to play on that song, let me know." He said, it "Sounds great. I'll just tell him to send it to me, and I'll play over something to go over the top." So um, I said, oh, I might have a little bit of room for you on there, mate. Yeah, you, you go okay. And um, <laughs> so 
<laughs> and it was planned to send it down, but he actually went up to the studio and, oh, wow. and he did all the great lead guitar over the top. Mm. And at, at the end, it's a really nice um, sound. Riff, would you call it riff? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, yeah. What, what about the rumours that uh, on the last uh, the last days of production that you were going up there in a limo, in a white <laughs> white and gold jumpsuit, Elvis style? Uh, don't think so. Don't think so. <laughs> don't think so. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You're the most humblest uh, rock star um, that we've had on. I must say. <laughs> I must say. Um, and uh, the tribute, of course, it's dedicated to Connie Marie Osborne. Um, 48 when she passed, mm -hmm. very, very well, young. Well, not quite, and 47. 47, yeah, yes, yeah. And, and battled yeah. for many years, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yep. Mm. And you have here gorgeous words, Connie came into my life, gave me unconditional love, the best 10 years of my life, absolutely beautiful. My love, my life. And uh, I, I, I can see, um, you know, that, that so much of um, the, the dedication to Connie from everyone, really yep. banded together all, all these was... everyone on there did everything for free absolutely everything yes for free yeah uh even kim kim did all that the only thing you had to pay for of course was actually pressing the cds and getting the printing done absolutely uh, none of those guys commercial. had control over and they mm. did all that and uh the cost it did cost us money of course and um yes. so we're only selling them for five dollars each and two dollars out of that goes to the sea shepherd that's amazing. Um, yeah, because mm. Connie, or as the picture suggests, she loved the ocean and she mm. loved watching the whales uh, and the big eagle there. And with the uh, Sea Shepherd, she was very, um, I guess, supportive of those guys mm. for the work they do. They do the fantastic work as well. And, our Absolutely. animals in the, in the ocean, that sort yeah. of thing too. So how do we get one of these? And I hear that uh, if you're nice enough, you could actually get a signed copy. I've got myself a little signed copy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, you look. Yes. Yeah, just a little thank you on it. I can do that. <laughs> I didn't, Absolutely. I didn't carry any pen. No, that's today, well, you'll have to get a, yeah. a big pen with a big feather on it. Mm. So how can we get a copy? Um, we could, um, I guess, uh, Facebook. Mm. Uh, I've got Aussie and Friends Facebook page. You can contact me through there or uh, send me a message on Wayne Osborne, mm -hmm. uh, that page as well. And I guess uh, anyway, you could get a message to the station here. I could, uh, you could post them out. Like I'll just post it out to you if you're in Australia. Mm -hmm. and it's still five bucks. So. Really? Yeah, I just yeah, it's it's because it's not about making money. No, it's just about absolutely, getting yeah. it out there. But so. we don't we don't want to put too much financial pressure on you in, in doing this as well because I mean for five dollars this is amazing and, and the proceeds are going to I mean just the production of it covering the costs but also just to see Shepherd. So it's it's absolutely beautiful. A wonderful tribute to Connie and, and absolutely um a, 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 the the work that has gone into it from everyone on the back of this is absolutely brilliant and it sounds like you had a really good time oh it was, it was great it. fun yeah um and that's just to do one song so i really it makes you appreciate uh absolutely. what an artist goes through that does a whole album yes or um and the people involved yep, yep. there's a lot of blood sweat and tears yep, they all came and did that for nothing and you know you'd, mm. you'd be paying to get that that done i guess you're looking at over a thousand dollars you know goodness me. by the time you get the musos in and that sort of thing and mm. i'll probably I'd, i've got no idea really it's, uh, I know it's only one song. Well, there's two two versions on there, but mm. um, yeah, it's um, I couldn't wouldn't know how much that would cost. I think I think a thousand dollars would get you a day mm. in the studio. So oh, absolutely, yeah. at, at least at mm. least. So, so you know what else? Yes. I think you have to wait till after the news to play the song. <laughs> Because as Connie used to say to me, Ravon, Avon. Ravon, Avon. We That's have. Me. Tell yes. me, is that what's what's next on uh, on Aussies? <laughs> bucket list of things to do well uh ryan matheson said have you got any more songs <laughs> <laughs> and i said well i've got about five or six they're, they're a bit like country are they, are they on scraps of paper shoved in something no, they're actually least... typed up and i've practiced them Good on you. Yeah. yeah yeah so i said well mate, what i might do um is just um uh, record them mm. so everyone knows what they sound like um uh, if i have to sing them i'll sing them and then everyone else can play the music if they want to because <laughs> i'm not i'm not good enough to play um, to record, sure, um, sure, playing so yeah, but it does yeah. work out well in the it's end. It's good fun, and, and, and same. Yeah. I want to thank everyone for who's been supporting it all around mm. Australia, really, mm. and especially locally too. Uh, they've been buying them, and some people get them for free. Just depends where I am and what I got, and <laughs> lucky person for free. Yeah, exactly. As, as I said, it's about yeah. getting it out there. 
Tell yeah. me, what's your advice for people who do have, they feel they've got a bit of a song in them, they've perhaps read, uh, written things, dabbled on things, have a bit of a play on the guitar, what's your advice? Well, I think just have a go, do it, mm. record it, and then just put it on Facebook for fun. And most people, if when it's for fun, they don't bag you. Yeah, you know, they just go, yeah, Absolutely. have a giggle yeah. or something, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, just do it. And then someone might say, go, oh, do you want to come and do it, yeah, mm. and record it? or. Mm. Or someone might pick it up and say, "Well, they'll record it." Absolutely. And yeah. your work. Not everyone. There's there's songwriters and there's singer songwriters. So if you want to write some poetry and that and get into song version, just do it and put mm. it out there. Put it out there. And we do have. We can run that social media ourselves now. Mm. It's yep. amazing. Yeah. Yep. So get on to Aussie and Friends mm -hmm. on Facebook and uh, give Aussie um, a message that you want one. You can. Uh, you could even pick them up from the station. You could put their name on them. Yeah. And pick them, them up here. from. Yeah, sure. Uh, FM yep. 97.3 yep. here at uh, Budgie Boy, um, or you can send them out, or uh, yep. yeah, hand them out. Yeah, go busking in the streets. That's it. <laughs> Love it. Thank Same you so song. Much, over and over. We're oh, two songs now. <laughs> two songs now. This one yeah. and Wagon Wheel. Wagon Wheel. That's it. Goodness me. Thanks, Martin. Uh, we will be playing it after the news. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much. And uh, we can't wait for the next, the next one. <laughs>